Says your mom. Hello, Warriors. Wake well, up. Welcome. Warrior Wednesday with Dr. Diane and Dr. Jack. Just a little ditty about us. Jack and Diane. Two American kids trying to figure out what the hell is going on in America. <laughs> <laughs> I have fun with that. <laughs> we, I'm not figuring that out. We that's what this show is all about. <laughs> So actually today, um, I'm, we're going to skip the intro, you guys, because we only have 30 minutes and apologies for um, starting a little bit late. We have been testing out different microphones and having a hell of a time. You should see all the wires around us right now. Um, so we're trying to sound clearer in many ways for you guys. Um, so today is September 25th. We are in the middle of a lot of different things happening in the sky, um, cosmically, energetically, spiritually, mm -hmm. politically, chemically, um, and we're here to kind of talk about, I mean, today's going to be a little bit vulnerable. I mean, for me anyway, um, uh, Dr. Jack may have to hold me while I sob. I don't know what's going to happen, but, um, the title of today's episode, go ahead, honey. Yeah. Let's get up close and personal. My warriors. I can't believe I'm really going under the knife again. Uh, there it is. My, and then we're going to talk about my personal detox protocol, meaning the both of ours, we get a lot of questions from patients that we're working with, um, as well as people who are in our, our VIP mastermind group. Yeah. We've got close to 200 people in there right now. It's amazing. I mean, it's, it's the tribe that I guess you would say that if, if I've could ever dream of having a group of people that really want to come together and mm -hmm. grow and learn and support each other and to seek and to um, heal, self heal, uh, to avoid going to the kill centers, which are known as hospitals, that otherwise are known as healthcare. Mm. What would you call it? Oh, I, I don't want to be there. <laughs> I care. How about we? How <laughs> that about, scares me. Get over here. It makes, how, me, it makes me very nervous. Yeah, me too. I, how about we call it healthcare? <laughs> um, but it is. I, I, you know, I say something happened to me. I do not want to go. I, don't, I do not want to go to these facilities. Um, mm. It is where people go to die. Uh, and in fact, we're going to talk about death today. And it's something that I don't want to shy away from. Um, so here are the topics for today. Surgery. I'm going under the knife again. And I'll share why and what. And I have a lot of people who have been asking me about this protocol and why I'm doing it. And, uh, and this is really the purpose behind me being a doctor. So I'll share a little bit about that. Um, menopause. And hopefully it'll help many of you. And menopause at age, Jack's going through menopause at age 45. Mm. Menopause. <laughs> I think we all do. I think yeah. there is a menopause thing, right? Yeah, there's, it's real. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people do. And they lose their mojo. Yeah. They lose the their banjo. Banjo. <laughs> and, you know, to, to be fair, also, there's, there's so much friction going around right now. If you look at politics, you know, you can see, um, poly tick, right? Like yeah. Paul tick. Yeah. Like what, what are ticks in somebody's body? What do they do? Oof. Nasty. They're nasty critters. What do they cause that you see so many patients? Lyme, all the co-infections, Bartonella or Lickley, all that kind of fun stuff. The Rickettsia, stuff? the Bigia. All the things that we find in every single patient that we work with. And Dr. Jack pulls us out and creates priorities of then people are like, well, I've never been bit by a tick. We're like, well, yes, you have. You've watched TV and seen the debate. So you've been bit by a tick, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. telepathically and ele electromagnetically. So politics right now, um, if you look at the divide between everything, black, white, man, woman, child, parent, everything is being demolished. And in fact, two episodes ago, was it? We were talking about connection. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, the things that disconnect us. And right now, you know, to, to be fair with all of the things that are happening in the air, um, we are seeing men and women going at it. Lots of divorce, lots of relationship battles. Um, Jack and I have been triggering the hell out of each other, but I think that is an invitation and an inspiration for an invocation of true healing. You know, um, it, <laughs> I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Can you? I feel it all the time. I'm feeling it. 
my nads are holding this up right now, just so you guys know. <laughs> my nads. These are my, Tell them my what underwear. It is. Tell nads. See, I wasn't lying. Yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I found these underwear. I needed new ones that were supposed to be non toxic for your nads. I so saw I'm trying them. not to go through menopause. Not. I don't want to go through menopause already. I'm getting there. I'm sure. Shit, you're I'll be 48 you in a couple. In it. Yeah, you're right. Probably. You're in it. You're being mean to me. I'm being mean to you. A lot of people are being mean to each other. Okay. So we're mm. bringing it honestly today. Um, I saw these when I came back from my trip and I was like, oh, he's cheating on me. He's got new underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, um, but I think that is very important. What makes you so non-toxic? The oh, they're nads. nads. They're nads. I, I don't I don't remember. I, I, I bought like, them like a month ago. They're like cotton. they're like non-toxic um underwear for males. Like I don't non think they polyester. Have them for girls. Yeah, all that stuff. It's yeah. all clean. I, I don't yeah. remember exactly. Yeah. But it's important to it not cool. have polyester on your most important uh family jewels because mm -hmm. those are the things that actually cause cancer because your body is soaking all of these plastics in. Mm -hmm. And microplastics, you know, so, we especially with a male prostate. Anything yeah. around the prostate, I mean, it's a sack. It gets so many infections. It's really hard to treat. Um, people yeah. are going through it constantly. I even prostate was talking issues. to somebody the other day, and um, and he said, you know, I'm pretty embarrassed to talk about this. I didn't know back then what I know now, but he said, I got prostate cancer, and I had him cut it out. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of people that I know. In fact, one of my mm -hmm. personal friends just died. Uh, I've actually had three friends die in the last week and it's been like one of those, whoa, you know, uh, that's kind of part of the inspiration for this episode is that mm -hmm. like death can knock at your door any moment. This one guy that I know who died, um, he had one enlarged prostate because he had um, issues with his um, and just now recently found out, didn't tell you this, just found out yesterday that um, he had been popping pills like to enhance his life. Um, you know, people are so stressed and depressed and, and suppressing, um, mm -hmm. all of these, you know, emotions and, mm -hmm. you know, really anger is not the issue. It's fear and shame mm -hmm. that comes out as anger and rage. So I think it's time that we all realize that there is no such thing as Satan out there. There only is repressed energy that has never been expressed or healed in here. So we can stop this crazy external building of the matrix when we get in contact with our inner parts that are seeking to be held and to be loved and to be accepted and to be integrated and actually turned into gold. Mm. So can you turn your fear and shame into gold? The answer is yes. The answer is absolutely yes. And this is all of our inner work mm. to turn toward like a warrior as opposed to protect and deflect like a warrior. There's no reason to have a shield up anymore. Um, you know, there's some other things we're going to talk about today too. Um, we're going to answer some questions about um, parasite protocols because we mm -hmm. have a patient right now who has asked, and we'll be answering more of this. Again, if you guys want to join us in the VIP group, this is where we all have all the vulnerable conversations and people get tons of benefits. DianeKaser.com forward slash VIP. You get both Dr. Jack and myself um, every week for an hour. So right after this podcast, join us. You can join in there right now for a dollar. Right after the show, you can join us in there. Once you click join for a dollar, um, then you'll get the link uh, sent to you over email and you'll know exactly how to join us on Zoom with the password mm -hmm. and everything. So we have always a lot to cover. Um, we're going to do our best to cover as much as we can today. And then for anything that we haven't had time to, we're going to bring into the VIP group where we start our education and then we open up the floor for you to ask any questions. So imagine that you have two doctors here who love you, who want to really help you help yourself and who are not going to gaslight you, tell you it's all in your head or it's just genetic or your blood tests are fine or just take this pill or cut out this organ or, you know, cut your prostate out. A lot of people are losing organs. I, I had I had a patient recently who was missing three organs. They took three. Them out, three. Which ones? Um, the appendix, gallbladder, and then they took out part of her thyroid. And what did they say? Why? It was all different reasons, but I mean, it's, it, she left, she's left with a mess. It's sad. I mean, it's really, really, really sad. Her quality of life. What is her quality of life like now? Not good. When she comes in to see you, what are her symptoms? Um, well, she came in for uh, low energy, digestive issues, brain fog, fatigue, weight gain. My God. Mm -hmm. 
And yep. people think that, you know, and uh, very highly medicated now. Oh, right. So, you know, I, it's, it's very, it's very hard <clears throat> to undo those things. I know. Because you're, you have to, you have to almost replace meds with supplements. And a lot of people don't, you know, because what are you, what are you going to do when you're missing part of your, your digestion and your yeah. thyroid and all that kind of stuff? So, yeah. So, I mean, they take your thyroid it's a, out. It's a diff difficult thing. And they're like, well, here's some Synthroid to replace it. Mm -hmm. But one thing that really pisses me off is they, they take out your gallbladder and say, oh, it's infected. But like, how about we just clear the infection or the things mm -hmm. that are congesting it? Like, that's what we do. Yep. We help save organs. And do, do a coffee animal, a liver cleanse. Lots of them. Gallbladder detox. Yeah, we, we teach all of that in the and, VIP group. And that's something you got to do regularly. Regularly. And that's actually part of what we're going to talk about today. And I think we'll end with that, babe. We'll end with that topic. And then we'll go into the VIP group and continue on with that mm. schedule. Um, because we need to live in harmony with parasites, uh, not think that it's about killing them all. Um, we need to live in harmony with our symptoms and realize that they're just simply messengers. Mm -hmm. uh, your body doesn't hate you. Your body actually loves you. You know, God does not make junk. God did not make organs to be removed. Mm. God made organs um, to help remove the toxins, the, the poisons, the parasites, the pathogens that are killing you. The ones that are all around us. We're basically living in an ashtray right now. We are living in the polarities of heaven and hell at once. And we get to decide what to do with it. Mm. I imagine, and my empathy hat goes on to people who, you know, have organs removed because the doctors... Um, kind of fear you into, well, we have to remove this organ to save your life. But then what does it do? Well, it's going to make it worse depending on what organ. It takes away your quality of life. It like takes you your said. Yeah. I mean, your, your thyroid. Oof. I mean, I, I've dealt with thyroid issues for, oh God, has it been 18 years? And um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I've, I, I was, I've had several different diagnosis, diagnoses on my thyroid from my thyroid. Yeah. And, um, you know, Hashimoto's one day, hypo the next, you know, always, back and forth and these types of things yeah it's just typically to it's, it's toxins and you know the, the world is it does have a toxic burden with all the stress and you know um you know families everybody working and you know there's mm -hmm. not that structure anymore uh, you know all the, everybody knows all the stress of nowadays yeah uh, and we're walking around with our cell phones all the time it, it looks like a movie yeah um and you know kids are working i was watching um i, I drove into work and there was the garbage guys picking up stuff and they both had ear pods and they weren't talking to each other. They were, you know, listening to music. Wow. So, I mean, this is in their brain radiating. So we're, we, we are living in a matrix and, and oh, it yeah. is, there is a control factor, whether, you know, whether, you know, Apple, I don't think Apple set it up to, to screw people's brains up and give them cancer. But on the same point, you know, it's all, it's all contributing to all these different things. And that's, mm -hmm. that's why people have parasites, such bad parasite infections. Our immune system should be strong enough to kill them. Yes. Do I still get parasites? Yes. Me too. I do think I, I got some on this trip. Yeah. Do I take a, tons of supplements? Yes. Do I sauna and do I exercise every day? Yeah. Or I'd be a mess. And rife. And fun eventually. Yeah. Eventually be able to rife. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, you guys, I want to, I want to get into some of this stuff that, um, you know, it, it's been a really challenging couple of weeks for me personally. Um, When, when you hear somebody is on their, their deathbed and you know that it's the end of their life, something changes in you. And, um, I realized that my grandmother being sent to memory care meant that it's only a matter of days. And you guys, she's 95. She's had a great life and she's also had a tormented, traumatized life. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to talk about today because my parents said to me, you do not want to go see her. She's in a horrible condition. She might be angry at you. Mm -hmm. She might hiss at you. She might tell you that you're raping her. I mean, she's, she's not herself anymore. She's been jabbed multiple times. She's been programmed by the tell live vision. She is all hail Biden. You know, I mean, these elders have been the original um, child trafficked. Their mm -hmm. innocence has been stolen from them since birth. From all of these different agendas, since from the depression era to now, this is the last era of those elders that started with being 
rationed, like mm -hmm. given ration being in bread lines and living through lack and wondering if they were even going to have a dime for their next bite. They've carried this depression. They've carried this anxiety. They've carried these fears for so long. And now they're starting to die off. So for me, when I went to go say goodbye to her, it wasn't about me. I went there to help her set her soul free in whatever way that I could. And yes, let's share the picture of my grandmother. There's a couple different pictures I want you guys to see. You know, I don't know if you could zoom in on that, Paula. There's a couple pictures that I want to share today. But I mean, like, look at the expression on her face. We have so many people that we're losing overnight or to old age. It just makes you question, what is this life? And you can see on her face, the expressions, the emotions, the energies, the beliefs that she still has and carries, the repressed emotions and anger and rage and mistrust and, and grudges that she's still, she's going to die with these inside of her. And I hate that for humanity. And I wanted to talk about something that both Jack and I um, are big believers in, which is um, hope of hope. Pono pono. Hope pono pono. Yeah. Um, and I want to share how that helped her when I was in sit, holding her hand. What is it, babe? Well, I, I, I learned about it many years ago. Um, I was, I started a corporate wellness business and I, I gave a lecture 34 times in 17 different locations. And it talked about, I, I used the Ho'oponopono for the power of forgiveness. So um, yeah, it's a very simple process. You, you um, put an image in your, your mind who you want to forgive and you, you just repeat a, a prayer. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Sometimes people reverse a couple of those and I'm dyslexic, so I flip them. But I always say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that, that this came to me. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And, and you just say it over and over until this weight lifts off your body. Um, but I remember there was a Honda store I went to. So I would circle back every two weeks. I would give a new lecture. And I went into this Honda store. And um, this girl came up and hugged me and I'm like, I, I barely know her. You know, she's like, I, I forgave my father after what he did to me. I feel a thousand times better than it. It just, you know, I kept going to different stores and these same stories were going on. I was like, whoa, um, it was just mind boggling. So or heart boggling. Heart boggling. It was, it's really interesting. Um, there's a book called Zero Limits. I don't even know you're going to talk about that, but the, the book Zero Limits, it's pretty cool. It talks about the, um, some of the origins and how this, um, uh, doctor actually used this in a psychological ward um, on all these different patients, but he wouldn't talk to them. They hired him as a psychologist. It was kind of a last ditch effort. And he just went over the patient files and he, would, he, he, he said he'd only come in like two days a week. And it was a state hospital in, in Hawaii. And, and he said, I'm not going to see the patients. And they had, they had no other choice but to hire him. Nobody wanted to work there. So he, he turned this whole facility around and healed so many people. Which he, is simply the, that prayer. That prayer over the chart. He, he didn't talk to the patients. He didn't talk to... Okay. Thanks, Jack. Yeah, didn't that, talk to the patients. I, I want to share with you how powerful that was for my grandma's visit. Um, she was... Care, she when, I, when we were just telling her, thank you for all of the amazing times, you know, thank you for teaching us how to paint, like, Bob Ross, you guys remember Bob Ross with a big fro who was like, everybody needs a friend and he would paint like another tree and you're like, no, you're going to ruin the painting. But he actually just made it like a masterpiece. I taught him a lot of stuff. I didn't know that. So we need to get your hair growth going on so that you can have the fro again. Yes. And you guys tomorrow. Um, <laughs> thank you, Paula. Oh my <laughs> God. Who would not love Bob Ross? Tomorrow, actually, we'll talk a little, well, Paula, maybe you should just cue it right now anyway. Uh, tomorrow, Thursday, um, I'm going to be doing a, a webinar with three other powerful doctors um, to talk about non-toxic beauty and actually hair growth. <laughs> so the Zoom link is right there, rimonlove.com. That's Thursday, September 26th. I can't see what time it is, Paula. Isn't it? 8 p.m. Eastern. 8 p.m. Yeah. So we're going to, you need to tune in for that because we're going to make mm. you look like Bob Ross again. 
<laughs> do, how much do you love me now? Uh, well, I will. We will do before and afters for this podcast. You, you guys. Before and after. We're going to be like. Of my head. Yeah. We're going to be like, staying alive, staying alive. And we're going to bring back, you know, the, the fro head. Yeah. Oh, I'll do it. Okay, good, good. We'll see what happens. And and we'll see what happens with his eyebrows too. Cause yeah. um, I got a little tattoo on my eyebrows. And by the way, you guys, um, if you look at my face today, um, all I'm wearing is some mascara, a little bit of mascara and a little bit of lipstick. And the rest of my face, there's no powder. There's no blush. There's no foundation. There's no eyeshadow. I'm naked, baby. <laughs> you look beautiful. You don't need that stuff. And, well, thank you. But, and, look, this is what Ramon is doing to my face. And also, you can see that I don't have as many wrinkles. I mean, I do that. Look, I don't have any more. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really working. It, it's incredible. It's 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 um, Korean skincare. So that's a side note. But... <clears throat> My grandma, even at 95, had incredible skin. I mean, I was just looking at her going, wow, you know, because she ate real food. They ate real mm. food back then. They ate, you know, she taught me how to, um, you know, use lard. Um, she taught me how to cook. So we, my cousin and I went there um, and we just told her, thank you for all the times, even for what she remembered. So I encourage you guys, anybody in your life that you know who is in this kind of a space, do not let them die alone. Mm. do not witness them in their end times as angry as they might be go there knowing that they still have that soul within them. They might've been hijacked in the end. Parasites take them down. You know, their immune system starts to go and they die of a bacterial overgrowth. Eventually the bugs take them out and the bugs affect their mind and they kind of forget the good old times. But I'll tell you one moment. Speaking of the hope, I don't know. Hopo ono pono. Ho ho pono pono. Ho ho pono pono. Yeah. Let's just say ho. Hopo. Hope. hope. Let's just say hopo. <laughs> um, so my grandma, we were saying, you know, we're so excited for you to um, meet grandpa in heaven. She's like, I'm not going to heaven. I'm going to hell. And I'm like, God, I rebuke that. And I just kept rebuking it every time she said something negative like that. She's very programmed, you know, Catholic. Kept rebuking it. And I said, Diane, bring in. And I said, Grandma, for all the times that I was a youngster and I wasn't grateful or you did all this work and, and you weren't acknowledged um, or you loved us the best that you could for all the things you taught us, for all the time that you donated to us, for the life that you gave us, I would not be here without you, Grandma. I literally would not be here without you. And I am you. And I said, because she kept saying, oh, I don't forgive any, you know, she, I said, you know, at the end, grandma, it, it's, it's time to let go. It's time to forgive. It's time to free yourself from grudgery and any attachments of anything that you thought that life should have been different. She said, oh, no, no, there are certain people I will not forgive. And I'm like, damn it, grandma. She's 95. She's stubborn as hell. I think that's why she's still alive. She's like, nope, nope. And then I said, all right, I'm bringing it. I said, Grandma, I love you. Thank you. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Please forgive me. And I said it over and over, probably a hundred times in a row. And just held her hand. And then my cousin Sarah, she did the same thing. And then we both started crying. And then we asked my grandma to go be with her beloved, my grandpa who died 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. And we played the Reba McIntyre song that you guys may know. Um, it's, uh, it's called Just Like Them Horses. And yeah, thank you, Paula. There's a song that she wrote called Just Like Them Horses. And if you go to YouTube and listen to it, she basically starts the song by saying, how do you say goodbye? to somebody who raised you, who loved you, who made you. How do you say goodbye? 
And right now with as many people who are dying suddenly, whether it was from the shot or old age or something else, I literally had a friend, a very good friend who was my muscle testing chiropractor mm -hmm. and he died of heartbreak last week because his wife died and his dad died. He wasn't jabbed. But how do you say goodbye? So we played that song for my grandma, just like them horses. And it basically just says when it's time to run. And it's about her saying goodbye to her father that didn't really give her a life that she felt loved by. And so we played that song for my grandma. We held her hand and she started to cry. She didn't really have her mind even, you know, she's in dementia. She's accusing people of stealing her money. This is what happens to our elders. And a lot of people steal from them. They take advantage of them. They don't go visit them. They die alone. So after all of her hardening, after that face that you guys saw there of her, looking like she was in pain and angry. She softened and she sobbed. After the ho hopo no prayers to her, it was right after that that we held a picture of my grandpa and Jesus at the cross rebuking all of her statements that she was going to hell. You can see the pain in her face. You can see the grudge. You could see the anger still there. My invitation to all of us is that we can let this go now because if something happened and you die and if tomorrow never comes, just like Garth Brooks says, it's important to let each other know how much we love one another. That We try in every way and show you every day how much each other means to each other because if our time on earth is through and we can't wake to see another day as the love I gave my friends and family enough to last have we forgiven from the past if tomorrow never comes so like Garth says so tell that someone that you love just what you're thinking of if tomorrow never comes we don't have time anymore for anger or fear or rage or jealousy or division or hatred or judgment or, ju or grudgery. We are sinning every day if we continue to do that. So that was my goodbye to her. There's been several other deaths, um, but that's what I wanted to share about my grandma. And then switching over to my back. Um, I want to show you guys something because I have decided that after all of my attempts with um, stem cell and PRP and ozone and spinal decompression and muscle testing uh, adjustments weekly, uh, I've spent easily over $100,000 on my back since I was 17. Um, I got my MRI and I discovered that I basically, yes. I have no more, um, I not only don't even have any disc space, I don't have a disc and my spine has fused together. So if you can see that, this is what a healthy disc looks like. And these are my L4, L5 and L5, S1. You can see that there's basically nothing. Um, I found out that there's, uh, not only no disc, there's a scar tissue and there are, um, that's, that's what remains. There's disc bulges, there's disc herniations, um, there's bone spurs and my spine is already fusing itself together. And what it's doing is it's compressing on the nerve and that nerve is sending signals to my brain so that I am in chronic fight or flight. It's like my brain is always going, ah, so, you know, there's only so much you can do to get out of pain, but this is getting to the root. Um, I, if I, if you do, I wanted to share this with you guys. If you do artificial discs, which I asked about, I thought I would do that and avoid having metal in my body. Mm -hmm. 
but I didn't know this, that artificial discs then have to be kind of sandwiched and held in place by titanium plates. So while we always encourage you guys to like with oral um, procedures to, you know, instead of doing like a titanium rod to try to do something like a zirconia rod, there are just some things that cannot be avoided. I'm going to share this journey as it unfolds. I may get my surgery down in Mexico for 17,000. Um, I may get insurance here in America and work with um, some reputable surgeons, but I'm going to have my disc fused um, because I've tried everything since I was 17. So there is no judgment for any of you who are out there who do anything for your back. Mm -hmm. But when it gets to this point and you're younger, it's better to have it done early. Um, is there anything that you want to add to that? Because you work with a lot of patients who have a lot of these issues too. Well, I mean, the chronic pain is, it's nonstop. It's debilitating. You, you know, yeah. getting out of pain is really important. And I, I don't, I don't think <clears throat> the answer is taking, you know, dangerous medications every day to get rid of the pain. And then, then, you know, those medications are still running around those, those pathways, like the COX-2 pathways that help regenerate it. And you're, if you're constantly taking, you know, all the different um, anti-inflammatory medications, you know, there's, there's not really a chance. I mean, there, there are things that you could do to help. Yeah. But, you know, this has been something you've been dealing with for so many years at this point, you know, it's, it's something you're going to have to do. Then, then you, you, you provide your, your body support before and after you get ready for it, you prepare, Yeah. you strengthen your lower back as much as you can. You get in the best shape of your life. You work on all your detoxification pathways and whatever med they use on you, we, we get it out immediately. You bind it. You bind you it. Know? Yeah. Yeah. And that's important. That's what we're going to end on you guys is that I plan on doing this procedure and then doing stem cell before and after. And if any of you um, opt to do surgery, we're going to talk about this next in the VIP group, because whether or not it's surgery or some minor or major at this point, surgery comes with consequences. You know, there's a lot of tears in the body. There's recovery, there's toxins that they use, there's medications. You know, if you keep taking ibuprofen for your pain, you're rupturing other yeah. tendons. I don't know. When you're under anesthesia, you're, you're, it, it, you're, you're open for spiritual warfare. I'm just letting you oh know. Oh my God. Such so, a good you know, point. we'll make sure I will be sure to clear you before and after. Um, and I'm always being attacked like almost daily. So um, it's, it's a constant clearing process because you're working with patients. Yeah. You mean, mm -hmm. yeah, I know it's, and, and the closer you are to God, the closer you are to God, the more attacks you'll get. And that, that's not me saying it. That's from a, a very wise person who's been doing this and she's 16, almost seven years old. Wow. And, and she's been in her whole life. I feel it too. I feel it too. You know, traveling, the world, but like Paula says, the entities begin to lose their louche or supply. You guys, there is a, um, a connection between parasites and demons. And this, this is a daily work that we, we owe mm -hmm. ourselves while we're in this matrix, um, and whatever this is. So the last thing I'll say, uh, and I'm going to talk more about this in the VIP group and I'll share everything in there. I went to get bioidentical because um, New York doesn't do any of this stuff. I have to fly to um, Arizona to do it. Um, but I went in to get bioidentical hormones. I just got my hormones checked. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do just yet, but I just found it very interesting. Um, I mean, first of all, my um, luteinizing hormone and follicular stimulating hormone are high, which means that I'm officially in menopause uh, after a year of no periods. And so I'm feeling totally different because my sex, stress, and sleep hormones are all flat. There's no harm in taking bioidenticals, but at this point we have a lot of clinics that are prescribing bioidenticals, which I think the best ones are the ones you get at compound pharmacies, mm -hmm. um, through specialists that are bioidentical specialists. But guess what? The list was bioidentical hormones. And then everything else after it was Botox fillers and all kinds of other unhealthy things. So you're going to start seeing a lot more pressure to do a lot of these really nasty things that are making people very sick. So that's my, uh, be forewarned. Um, just because they, you know, they might, you might see it as next to something healthy, like bioidenticals does not mean, um, that it's healthy for you. So I'm going to, you know, talk about this more in the VIP group. And then Dr. Jack, um, let's talk one more thing about the, uh, full moon coming up, the, the, um, 
full moon. Well, we're going to go into the VIP group is more of our the even deeper foundational personal protocols based on the parasites that we're getting um, people in our VIP group and our pa patients are like, whoa, after three months, I'm finally starting to see them leave my body. This is why you don't just do one parasite cleanse. You know, we, we have to live this way. Mm -hmm. um, so here's the full moon schedule coming up, babe. Did you want to talk a little bit about that? Well, there's a new moon coming up on the 2nd, October 2nd. So uh, that's another great that's time. That's the eclipse too. That's another great time to, you know, beef up your, your parasite killers. But when you're doing that, you've got to make sure that you're beefing up all your drainage and, and binding as well. And that's where people get in a lot of trouble. Yeah. They just start killing them a little bit too quickly. Um, you're killing them without the binders. Without the binders. And right. then they start getting, you know, remember parasites hold all these toxins and you know, metals and all these things in them. So when they die, you got to make sure you're binding them and you're getting them out and you're, you're pooping every day, like just some of the basics. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, the next full moon pro cycle, you guys should join us for it. So that that's going to be in the, was it the 14th? Yeah, I think so. So October 14th. And um, just on a, just on a quick side note, um, what Dr. Diane was talking about is, is parasites are evil and demonic. Um, there is a, 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 oh, October 17th. Um, there is a really cool audible book. Uh, and you could buy it as well. It's it's called the 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 rope worm Bible. Oh yeah, the one that we've been listening to the audio. Um, I really Ooh. enjoyed it. So I mean, if you want to do some, um, it's from a female pastor, uh, mm -hmm. really really smart lady. You know, I I just listened to it on Audible. Um, I think the book is you know pretty it's expensive, so but it's good. it's really really good. Yeah, so really cool good. to listen to. Yeah, we listen so to check, parasite check audiobooks when we're driving on our love love vacation getaways. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but she actually, um, talked about, I learned about the, the rope room when it was first becoming popularized by Alex Valinsky. And I actually interviewed him for my first podcast called wellness warrior radio about, uh, 12 years ago and learned a lot about what the rope worm rope worm is. Um, it's not like, it looks like a rope, but it's still you know, being talked about. It's really a constellation of all of these poisons and pathogens that are all like wrapped up into one. Mm -hmm. And that is like, like Dr. Anna didn't talk about this, but it like, looks like it's she said it's not parasites but there are a lot of these things that look like long cords that mm -hmm. can attach like from your gut to your brain and they could be 30 feet long um and and this is not just in some people this is very very common parasites mm -hmm. are the big problem and you guys i also do see a lot of you who are like oh i just do the fembendazole and that makes me feel better and i'm like oh god we can't I know. I'm not gonna get into that. yeah we won the vip group <laughs> um last okay. thing is so we'd love for you guys to join us um yeah. Get in the VIP group. You'll get the full moon parasite cleanse at a discount. Um, it's just a dollar to join us and it's less than a hundred dollars a month to be in our VIP group and have the support of both of us. It's super invaluable. You can't afford not to have it. So last thing, and then we're going to go in the VIP group, um, is somebody did request, um, these eye drops. I was, uh, letting people use it on my trip. This we'll talk a little more about the VIP group. Again, we talked about it extensively last week. This is highly imperative because you also get parasites up on your, your ear, nose, and throat cavity. You put in a dropper like this, uh, fill it up about three quarters of the way with distilled water. Um, we have these things in our shop on dyingkazer.com. This is carboxy. You just take a pinch of this. This is a binder. It has humic, fulvic, and citric acid that binds to the hydrogel, uh, the graphene oxide, um, and is the binder that, like Dr. Jack was saying, if you're going to do a parasite cleanse, you got to have a binder. That's our strongest one. And then you take a couple drops, maybe three drops of the para three, and you put it all together in this, and you use those eye drops daily. Uh, that's going to do a lot of clearing. People are like, I cannot believe how clear my eyes feel. And then just one more last thing, as a reminder, many of you have been asking, what is that nicotine thing again that you're talking about that, you know, instead of doing the patches, here it is. This is on my shop as well, dyingcage.com forward slash shop where you find all of this. Um, this is a uh, canatine and it's got uh, CBD, hemp, um, nicotine, uh, methylene blue, as well as many, many other things that are adaptogens and nootropics. So those are two really powerful hacks that you guys can do to fight this stuff mm. that you might be, you know, feeling uh, parasites in the brain, uh, nanotechnology, uh, the trypanosoma cruzi that they put in the shots that are the microscopic protozoa. Hmm? Parasites, yeah. Yeah, parasites. So we got a lot more to cover, you guys. We're going to go in the VIP group now and share even more. Uh, but thank you for being here today. Um, thank you for letting me share my story and being vulnerable. I really, really hope that it helps you. Uh, we got to get over our pride. We got to get over our fears. We, we we really have to open up the discussion about this stuff so that we can truly be stewards of God and on purpose and um, in, in, in passion in our hearts. Any final words for you, baby? God bless.
God bless everybody. Stay strong. Yeah. Stay strong and be real. Be real with each other. Be gentle with each other. Uh, we'll see you in the VIP group, you guys. DineCage.com forward slash VIP. We'll see you on the other side. And if there's any other topics that you want um, us to cover in the future, just uh, drop us a line and comment below on the video. And also share this video with everybody that you know, because these are the conversations that we need to all be having to be our own best doctor uh, and to really serve God and live with God and nature. Bye for now. Thanks for tuning in to today's show. If this episode really tugged at your soul and you're ready to have your personal breakthrough, we would love to have a heart to heart with you to get you crystal clear on three things. What do you want? What's standing in your way? And how do we get you to your soul goal in the fastest time possible? Visit my site, dianekazer.com forward slash call to schedule your free one hour connection session with one of our warriors to map out exactly how you want to look, feel, and live. We've helped thousands of warriors just like you all around the world free themselves from the symptoms and suffering they never thought possible. And you just might be our next success story. Talk soon.